So if you take a look at your data and you decide that you um, want to visually represent some of the measures of location that we've discussed uh, this semester, there's a pretty easy way to do that. You can use a box and whisker plot. So what I wanna do really briefly is just show you how you can create one of these. And um, I've got a Kaggle data set here. And um, what we're gonna do is make a box and whisker plot, bo box and whisker plot um, with meal price. And you can see I've already calculated the max, the third quartile, the median, and so on. So we would just wanna make sure that what we see in that box and whisker plot is what we expect. So we're gonna just um, highlight the first cell in our data set, so it's G2. Uh, shift control down arrow is going to select everything that we need. Notice we've got um, 50,000 records here, so it's a pretty big set. And uh, then we're going to insert. You'll find the box and whisker in um, what they call the statistics chart. So you'll go to insert, you'll click on the little icon that looks like a histogram, and then you'll see that they have a box and whisker right there for you. When you click it, it will go ahead and create this, um, this chart for you. So uh, it looks like we don't have any outliers. So I'm gonna just give this a nice little title and say, no, price, six, something like that, sort of freewheeling this. There's probably a, a better way to write that, but for now that's okay. Um, we could add a, an axis title here, and frankly, I don't think we really need this, so I'm just going to highlight that and delete it. Uh, let's go ahead and um, let's just add a specific, specific title there. I'm going to break this out a bit so I can see all of my menu options. Um, so the easiest way to do this is to go to chart design and add a chart element. So in this case, I want to add a vertical axis and it's going to give it a meaningful name. So this is meal price in dollars, something like that, something specific. Um, finally, what you might want to do with a graph like this is actually make sure that these numbers are the same as the numbers that you would get through the, the equivalent function. So um, just to point this out, uh, the line in the middle of the box is the median. The X is the arithmetic mean. The top of the box is the third quartile. The bottom of the box is the first quartile. The whisker at the bottom is the min. The whisker at the top is the max. Let's go and add those numbers uh, just to make sure that it's doing what we think it should be doing. Um, Excel does depart from what we would expect, um, especially when there are outliers, but it looks like we don't have any outliers here. So let's go and add data labels, add them to the right, and let's check to make sure that all of the numbers that we see are what we would expect them to be. So our max of 1,065 is the same. Our min of six is the same. Uh, the third quartile is the same, the first quartile is the same, the median is the same, and our mean is the same. So we are looking pretty good. Some other things that you might want to do once you're here, um, we probably don't need all of the precision on these numbers, so we can format those data labels 
And if we expand number, notice it's general. So general is sort of Excel taking a guess at what you might like. Um, if we want a little more precision, we can say, I want this to be treated as a number. And notice the default is that it will default to two decimal places, which is probably more realistic for a graph like this. And that's it. You know, we, there's always more things we could do, but that's um, a pretty handy way to generate a box and whisker plot that can uh, put your five number summary um, in a visual form.